In today's video, we're going to be talking about 101 things you need to know before you play Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's get it started. The first thing, Red Dead Redemption 2's story is 60 hours long. To give you some perspective, GTA 5's main story was 30 hours long, Red Dead Redemption's main story was 20 hours long, and The Witcher 3's main story was about 50 hours long. And keep in mind, that's just the main campaign. That doesn't probably include side missions or anything like that which is very impressive. On PS4, Red Dead Redemption 2 is gonna require 105 gigabytes of space, while on Xbox, it's going to require 88.57 gigabytes of space. So I'm not sure why there's about a 20 gigabyte difference, but that's how much storage you're going to need uh, before you ultimately install this game. So it might be opportune to clear out some space on your console. The trophies and achievements for Red Dead Redemption 2 have been leaked. Um, I will leave a link to them in the description. I'm not going to be sharing them in this video because they do offer a ton of spoilers. But if you're interested in the trophies for single player and online, you can check those out. Something that's pretty cool about RDR2 is there's over 50 weapons in the game. Way more than we saw in the original and way more than we saw in Grand Theft Auto Online. So that's awesome. This is also going to be Rockstar's biggest map ever. More than GTA 5, bigger than anything we've seen so far. So that is incredibly cool. Another thing that's unique goes to show you the effort that Rockstar went into this game. There's over a thousand actors for NPCs. Basically every NPC had their own individual actor and that is pretty crazy to think about. Number eight today, you can go inside houses in Red Dead Redemption 2 and often come out with some goodies like oat cakes or canned food or even a pack of premium cigarettes which will have an effect on your character if you decide to use them. The longer you spend on your horse, the tighter your bond is going to grow through four different levels. And each level provides a new riding ability, like being able to rear up on command, perform dressage, and even pull off unique versions of drifting with a slide turn. That's kind of cool. Similarly to GTA 5, you can browse the shelves on a gun store or even flip through a catalog. The catalog offers a little easier navigation and is filled with period language and illustrations of the guns and ammo that you can buy. Number 12, the musical score will shift to reflect your moral alignment and your character's posture and animation will change as well, depending on whether you're a good or a bad character. Number 13 today, you can carry single-handle pistols, revolvers, and single-handed sawed-off shotguns in your holsters. Now, upgraded and reinforced holsters will protect the weapon from degradation against the elements while offhand holsters give you the ability to dual wield as well. Now in addition to that there's also visual upgrades like new metals, woods, varnishes, and engravings to perform upgrades like new barrels, grips, sights, and scopes and you can even design an entirely unique weapon that looks and handles exactly the way you want. Number 15 you can heckle at theater performances, provoke and encourage the artists, and even boo them by asking for your money back. Now I thought that was pretty funny. Now if you want to take a ride on the train without having the law come down on you, you're going to have to buy a train ticket if you want to actually ride the train legally. Another interesting fact, Arthur can actually sit in any chair and sitting next to an NPC allows you to listen to conversations, gather information, and obtain clues that you could have previously missed in other conversations. Now, instead of chatting with an NPC, if you sit next to a gang member at a campfire, they might reveal hints to items hidden in the world, and if you neglect to visit them, they'll actually criticize you for it. Now, animals that you can catch in-game is rated between one and three stars when you examine it to inform you of the quality and value of the meat. Now, you can also hunt legendary animals, and they'll be one of each species, and if you take them to trappers, you can craft rare clothing items. Now, if you need transportation, you don't have to steal a horse to get yourself back into town. Sometimes a passerby can offer you lifts on their horse or wagon, meaning you don't always have to resort to violence. Speaking of those NPCs, they will have memory. If you start a fight in a saloon and return another day, the bartender will ask you to not start any trouble. And depending on the severity of your past actions, they may tell you to leave or even call the sheriff. In fact, some NPC interaction is automatic. In fact, there's one example where you can actually tease John about the scars he has on his face as he walks by. Since this game is taking place in 1899, one important element is that Native Americans are in Red Dead Redemption 2, so they're probably going to be a very important part of the storyline. Moving on, players have their honorable and dishonorable deeds tallied as they play the game. The Rockstar says it's not as linear as a system as it was in the first Red Dead Redemption game. 
Something I found pretty interesting at the number 25 spot, if you lose your hat, it can be found on the minimap to go back and pick up. Following in the footsteps of GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2 will also be playable in first person. Alongside of that, it's pretty graphic too. Your horse can actually lose limbs. So you need to take care of your friend as best as you can. Speaking of our horse, if you hit something at very high speed, you can go flying off, similar to a motorbike in GTA 5. However, you need to be careful because you can also clothesline yourself on stuff like wires and tree branches. So you do need to watch out. Now, in addition to that, this is kind of funny. Horse balls actually are dynamic. Yes, I just said that. Horse balls in Red Dead Redemption 2 are actually dynamic. A cool fact about Red Dead Redemption Online, its maximum player count per lobby is going to be 32 players. This might sound obvious, but in comparison to GTA 5, the game has a much slower pace because according to Rockstar, it plays like a Western. Obviously, you're not gonna have cars and planes and stuff like that, so that of course makes sense. Uh, at the number 32 spot today, NPCs are visible from impressively far distances, apparently. So you'll be able to see them from a long way away. Now, when you go into the cold weather or hot weather, you will automatically put on or take off your coat, sort of like dynamic jackets. Something else you can do is talk to people in groups simply rather than one-on-one -on -one conversation. So that's gonna be fun to do in free roam. You also have to make decisions quickly. So for example, if you witness someone getting robbed, the world isn't gonna slow down to allow you to think about what you should do uh, for that decision. You're gonna have to act fast. You can also talk to people while performing other tasks, such as maintaining eye contact or having a conversation while doing something else like pouring a cup of coffee. Rockstar have also confirmed that children in this game are somewhat invincible. That's something we never even saw in GTA 5, but in other games, that's been the exact same way. Another thing that's interesting, you might find notes or pieces of scraps in drawers that might actually contain useful information. So you're gonna to wanna to look in there. Now you can also tell your horse to flee to spare its own life in case danger arises. Each horse is going to have its own personality that you're gonna to need to take care of as well. Now something that I thought was pretty cool is that John Marston and Bill Williamson will have their original voice actors return. I think that's awesome. A rare event that's gonna happen in game, you can actually have duels with legendary cowboys. Now, I'm not sure what those duels are going to be like or what they might offer, but that sounds exciting. Horses can also kick behind them and they can also kill NPCs. So uh, don't go up near behind a horse or you might get kicked in the face and obviously that's not good. This game apparently is gonna be very gory because shotguns will be able to blow off arms and legs. That's pretty interesting. Since the game takes place in 1899, dollars are worth as much as they were back then. So it'll be interesting to see how much Rockstar prices stuff in game. Uh, now, if you are hit by something like a bullet, uh, you can actually gain a limp and lose stamina. So depending on where you're hit or where you're targeted, you will feel the effects of that. Now, even if you've already paid your bounty, the townspeople will still remember your crimes. So it's not like throwing money at something will make all of your problems go away. Now, if you don't hit an NPC or an enemy in a vital organ, it can actually take multiple bullets to kill them. So it's not gonna be one shot, one kill for pretty much everything in the game. There's also lightning in the game, which can strike, and there's a chance that you could get struck by lightning. I wonder what the odds of that happening are. Maybe like one in 10,000. I wonder if they're realistic odds. That'd be pretty funny. Uh, something else that is interesting is alcohol raises morale. Probably just like real life, so that's kind of funny. Number 50 today, gang members will also loot bodies after a shootout. So if you and your gang successfully uh, you know, do a heist or something like that, they are going to loot the bodies after that. Did you know there's over 200 unique animal species in Red Dead Redemption 2? They are going to be a massive part of the game, and that's exciting. Did you also know that Arthur's own sleeping area can be customized with rugs, hunting trophies, and more? I'm sure some of the things you can put there will be gathered throughout the campaign, so that's kind of neat. Some more similarities from GTA 5, you can also hold up shops or stores whenever you want, so you can rob them for their goods or their cash, which is going to be pretty interesting. Now, if Arthur doesn't rest, he will get physically tired, and you can actually see it in the way he expresses and acts. So it looks like there's going to be some RPG elements thrown into this game, which I do like. Something that did not work in GTA 5, but will work in Red Dead Redemption 2, mirrors. 
So if you see mirrors in the game, you'll be able to perfectly see your reflection. Now, if you chew tobacco or smoke, which you can, it will actually have impact on your characters. Like smoking, for example, will improve Arthur's Deadeye meter. That's pretty neat. Now, if you happen to get arrested, there are different scenarios. You might actually have to serve your sentence. Who knows how long that will be? Or you can pay your bond or have the gang break you out. Arthur will also react to the weather, changing his posture in the rain and tucking in his chain to avoid getting it wet. I found this to be pretty interesting. All the trains in the game run on an actual timetable, very similarly to real life where buses and trains will only be at certain stops at certain times. Number 60 today, there is a daily newspaper in the game which you can read and it actually might include events that you took part in. Very similar to kind of what we saw with like the uh, iFind app or iFind TV stations in Grand Theft Auto. Now, horses are very dynamic too. They stick better to the path, which means they'll perform better. They bat it flies when idle. They move their ears if they hear stuff. They're dynamic animals. They're not just going to be standing there, uh, which is pretty cool. Getting back to how gory this game is going to be, you can blow off people's heads. That's going to be interesting to see, and I wonder what weapons will be able to do that. Getting back to our horse friends, their poop is apparently, in quotes, detailed, round, and random. Leave it to Rockstar to get down to all the little details, including horse poop in there. According to sources, it looks as if you can enter every single building in the game. That would be insane. And speaking of entering those buildings, you can either knock on doors or beat them down. So you pretty much have a smart or a loud and dumb way to go about, uh, I guess, entering buildings. Now, getting back to our horses, you can get stirrups for your horse that match your boots or horns shaped like a silverhead eagle. So, again, more customization that's going to be coming out in this game. Now, if gang members happen to die, don't worry. You can always hire another one. And some guns, if you are in a firefight, need to have the hammer manually raised before a shot might fire. Again, that might actually have to go back to the gun customization and how detailed Rockstar makes it. Now, if you fatally injure your horse, you can revive it with some sort of special kit. And if you don't have the kit, you might have to trek into town to get one before your horse bleeds out and permanently dies. So that's going to be something to keep in mind as well. Your horses will likely not be invincible. Number 70 today, Rockstar Games has told us that each tree has been placed individually on the map. That is some insane detail. Speaking of insane detail, after handling a dead animal or skinning it, Arthur's hands will have blood on them. Again, pretty detailed stuff. After that, helping the camp out will expand types of activities that other gang members will go on with you and will ultimately change the stories told around the campfire. Now, if you happen to spot a train, you can also jump off tracks onto your horse, which will follow the train at a gallop. And you can also jump onto passing stagecoaches from your horse as well. Speaking of our horses, you can actually dismount the horse and Arthur will tie the reins to a stake in the ground if you want to keep your horse stationary. You can also untie it whenever you want and walk alongside the horse with Arthur leading it with a hand on the reins. Something I found to be awesome, the minimap can actually be customized. You can have it normal sized, enlarged, or shrunken as a compass and it can be turned off completely too if you don't want it on your screen at all. You can also whistle at people in game to get their attention, but doing so could lead you to running out of breath. Now this could be useful for many occasions, such as stealth or otherwise. You're gonna need to eat in Red Dead Redemption 2. If you don't, Arthur will become dizzy and his vision will actually get blurry, kind of like he's gotten lightheaded, which is sort of interesting. Arthur looks like he also has some special moves while holstering a gun, including doing a little flourish. Now, no one is sure if you're able to modify or customize that, but it's still pretty cool. Something that was never really in GTA 5 all that much, snow. Weather and snow will accumulate naturally in places that have been trodden over. Snow is gonna fall off on trees and some missions will take you far up into the mountains where you're literally above the cloud line. That is awesome. Now, just like the first Red Dead Redemption game, time and temperature are gonna be displayed by pausing the game or pressing down on the D-pad. Now, people will also react differently to you if you're wearing dirty clothes or if you have blood on them. So you're going to want to try and keep yourself as clean as possible. Rockstar have also rebuilt a new melee system in the game with different movements and combos. That's good because the one in GTA 5 was not all that great. 
Now, if you are in the camp, you can actually invite fellow gang members to hunt for supplies, hunt animals, and also other activities. And funny enough, beards can be fine-tuned in the camp as well. This was interesting. If you've been in a gunfight within hearing distance of an NPC, they're likely to be wary of you if you come from that direction, and they might even ask you about it. That is pretty cool that NPCs are actually that smart. Now, a couple of things you can buy in the stores, like bandoliers, gun belts, and holsters, all will do different things for your guns. Like bandoliers will increase ammo capacity for long arm weapons, gun belt will include base ammo for sidearms that gets increased, and holsters will slow down degradation of all weapons by 20%. So those items are going to be useful as well. Now, speaking of items that can be purchased, there's also stuff that you can customize for your horse. Saddles, saddlebags, stirrups, horns, blankets, bedrolls, and even more. Now, speaking of your horse too, if you take it to a source of water like a lake or a river, it'll actually drink from it. That's kind of awesome. Guns in Red Dead Redemption 2 are rated from 0 to 4 with the following attributes. Damage, range, fire rate, reload, accuracy, and condition. Four probably being the best, zero likely being the worst. Now, this is pretty cool. The scent and tracks of animals you are hunting will be muddled if it starts raining. So if you're hunting something and it starts to downpour, you're probably going to lose its sense. Now, Arthur has a really cool ability called Eagle Eye. It's essentially a tracking skill that can be activated by pressing both thumbsticks in at the same time. Now, a few more details on those guns we talked about earlier. Gunsmiths will comment on your guns being in poor condition if you try to upgrade them. Now, for a price, they can also repair the weapons for you, which I think is kind of cool. Number 91 today, we're getting close to the end. There are letters and books across the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 that actually tell us the lore of the world. So that's going to be really cool to find uh, because if you want to find out a little bit more about the backstory of the game, um, according to Rockstar, stealth is a bigger element than the original Red Dead Redemption. Good thing I'm playing the newest Assassin's Creed right now because I'm probably going to need that stealth training. You can also research animals and add them to a journal, likely adding better things if you come across them again. Speaking of someone you can come across, if they have a snake bite, you'll need to use a tonic to actually cure them. And if you don't have a tonic, Arthur will need to suck the poison out of the bite. That sounds pretty intense. Something that's not intense, if you're having a bath as Arthur, you can actually scrub each part of him individually. That's kind of interesting. Number 96 today, guns will rust quicker if you use them in the rain. So the weather is going to have a huge impact uh, on the actual weapons in the game, which is kind of crazy. There's also a carry limit as well. You're not Superman. You can only carry a certain number of items, both on foot and on your horse. Now you can also interact with apparently every single person in the game. That's kind of cool that almost every NPC is going to allow you to uh, basically talk to them or get some sort of information out with them. According to Rockstar, every cutscene, battle, and interior transition, just like GTA 5, does not feature any loading screens. That's great news. Number 100 today, there are a ton of mini games that you're going to be able to play, like poker, five finger fillet, fishing, and domino. And last but not least today, the 101st thing we're going to be talking about, you can customize your horse a lot. Like you can cut its mane, you can braid its tail, you can teach it new tricks, and a whole lot more. But anyways, that right there is 101 things you need to know about Red Dead Redemption 2 before you play. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and also support this video by dropping it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, including Red Dead Redemption 2 tips, tricks, guides, Easter eggs, and a whole lot more. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, take care, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.